I'm going to give my girl Erica a spring makeover using some of my favorite new goodies. Last time I had Erica's hair in my hands, I introduced her to Hydrastein, which in my opinion is one of the best hydrating systems for curly hair on the market. I've been using it lately as my foundation and I love it. Here we are today and after months of working on Erica's elasticity issues, I am so happy that she showed up today and her hair doesn't look like a hoop rat's nest. Hallelujah! Yes, it's a bit frizzy as hair should be when it's more than five days old, but it's not all dried out and straw-like so having her switch to Hydrasteam for foundation is working well. I am going to use the foundation of the system, which is the sulfate free shampoo, the steam mask, and the sealing spray to prep Erica for straightening. This system is designed to infuse the hair with moisture through steam treatment, which ultimately improves elasticity, prevents breakage, and gives the hair more days of moisture without having to reset. You can see a full review of Hydrasteam by clicking the link on your screen. This system can be used on all hair types and the foundation can be used to prep for straight styles as I am going to do here. As you can see, there's very little shed hair. This is dramatically less than Erica used to shed a few months ago and she is so happy that her hair is becoming healthier and easier to manage. Erica will go under my beautiful hair steamer for 20 minutes and then I will rinse the treatment out with lukewarm water. After steaming, the curls are clumped and super hydrated and very soft. I am applying the sealing spray to lock in the moisture from the steam treatment and smooth the cuticle. Now I am going to set the hair starting with Aveda Brilliant Damage Control Spray. This spray has aloe juice for moisture, like the Hydrasteam system, making it a good choice of leave-in as it shares the majority properties as the foundation products I used. It also has sunflower to protect from sun damage, calendula for healthy scalp, hydrolyzed wheat protein to strengthen, and soybean oil to moisturize and carry the other ingredients into the hair shaft. This formula is designed to protect from thermal heat damage and UV ray damage. It also acts as a leave-in and detangler that can be used on wet and dry hair which means in the summer, Erica can spritz her hair with this lightweight soft spray and protect her curls from harsh pool chemicals and UV ray damage. And now I am applying Aveda Famoleon Styling Foam. I used this on my hair for a flat twist out on dry hair and absolutely loved how soft and voluminous my hair was, so I wanted to use it to give Erica added body and volume with lightweight flexible hold. This foam is great for curly or straight styles and can be used on wet or dry hair. It adds shine and uses air infused technology with marshmallow and burdock root to make sure each strand is its fullest in volume. I am dividing Erica's hair in sections and twirling chunks together so she can go under my hooded dryer. After a few minutes, I will clip these up so they will finish drying. Your hair is more vulnerable and susceptible to damage when wet, so the tugging and pulling from wet to dry when blow drying can cause you unnecessary shedding and breakage. Hooded dryer heat is less invasive because it isn't direct heat, so drying the hair this way before blowout and flat iron reduces stress on the hair, leaving you with less breakage and dry out. About 40 minutes later, Erica's hair is 90% dry and can be safely blown out. Her hair is already full of shine and it is incredibly soft with no frizz. I am using my Ion Anti-Frizz Blow Dryer I got from Sally Beauty some time ago, which I've noticed has been converted to a new model and it will be linked in the corresponding blog post. I am also using my Denman 9 Row Brush to fully stretch the hair in preparation for flat ironing. To straighten, I am using the Agave Healing Vapor Iron. This ceramic iron comes with a vapor infusion liquid solution made with agave plant sugars that structurally reconditions the hair as the iron straightens. The nourishing oils and extracts in the vapor micronize with heat of the iron, making them penetrate the cuticle for ultimate moisture and the infrared heat from the plates seals that moisture in to give frizz-free healthy results. There are tiny little holes in one of the plates that allows the vapor solution to pass through. Now, you cannot go and put anything you want in this iron. You have to use the solution designed for it. Also, you can use it without the solution when you want. Just turn the vapor release switch off and it's still a fully functional ceramic iron. This flat iron has variable heat setting and has automatic shutoff. If you are interested in a treatment iron, this is an awesome one to consider. It uses plant extracts and healing oils, so you don't have to worry about overdoing it on your hair, and it has dual use since you can use it with or without the vapor. The iron comes with two bottles of vapor solution and two refillable, reusable cartridges. To give you an idea of how far one fill up goes, I use less than one cartridge full on Erica's hair. 
Now I am going to trim some more of this color off Erica's ends. She had some high lift streaks installed back in the summer of 2013 and what's left is what you see on the ends. That sandy brown blondish color you see from the roots down is her natural color. As with all high lifted and bleached dye jobs, the hair becomes dried out and brittle over time, making it break off and split. So basically, the ends just gotta go. I have been trimming it off over time. She likes her length and prefers to let the color grow off and I am respecting her wishes by gradually clipping it off. I am just doing a standard trim so it's not as heavily layered as my hair is. You should always seek professional service for trims and cuts to ensure your shape is fitting to your desired staple style. Now that I got some more of those dried ends off, I am going to add a bit of Aveda Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss, then use my Agave Iron with the vapor turned off to curve the ends of her hair for a sleek finish. This gloss smooths ends and adds beautiful shine. It also adds another layer of protection and is super lightweight. Because Erica is always moving around on the go, I am using Aveda Air Control Hairspray to give her hair a little added hold. This spray uses pine resin for flexible hold, aloe juice for moisture, hydrolyzed protein for strength, and jojoba for moisture. And this spray has zero impact on the Earth's climate as it is made with Aveda's funding of renewable energy to offset CO2 in the manufacturing process. Pretty cool, huh? Total style time was three hours and Erica will wrap her hair and secure it with the silk or satin scarf at night. To finish this spring makeover look, I used some new items from Aveda's Rare Bloom collection to give Erica this soft, warm look. I think she is giving us Sarah Jessica Parker vibes and I am loving it. These shadows and lippies are amazing and I can't wait to create more looks. I am no makeup artist by any means, but I hope you all appreciate the simplicity in how I apply makeup to my friends and myself in these tutorials. You can see all of the makeup I used to create this fresh look on the blog along with the hair products and tools by clicking the link in the about section below or by visiting monoshair.com.